Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been like ages since I filmed a video. My New Year's resolution is to make a little bit more time and do more of this because I just love it so much. And also this video like there's a long story behind it but basically I'm doing a wish haul which you've probably seen anyway by the title but it's been a bit of a process. I ordered the stuff back at least I think it must be at least two months ago I think and um, I've been waiting for so much stuff to arrive they sent it to my old address so I had this angry man like saying that he had all these parcels and stuff at his house and so my friend had to go and get them and then didn't even see my friend for so long so I never even got hold of like all the parcels but I finally have the parcels and this huge bag <laughs> sports direct bag which is just absolutely massive so I haven't actually figured out what arrived and what didn't because I have completely forgotten what I ordered. I'm just going to have a look on my Wish app and just see um, like how long ago it was that I ordered and also what I ordered and what's arrived and what hasn't arrived. Now they have refunded me for items that didn't arrive and they said that if they do still arrive I can keep the items and keep the refund so that's a bonus. This guy that it got sent to was particularly unhappy because I like, obviously with Wish it's loads of different companies, usually in China, so there's lots of sellers. So your stuff that you order from the website comes from maybe like 10 different people. So your parcels don't arrive at the same time, they arrive some in a couple of weeks, some in a week, some in a month. Which it was Wish's fault because they did send it to the wrong address. But yeah, this guy, he was obviously getting parcels all the time and he was like saying, why do you keep sending your parcels here? And I'm like... No, I'm not sending them. It's it's one order, but they're coming from lots of different people. But anyway, it was a little bit stressful. But, <laughs> all for a YouTube video, so you know, that is dedication for you. Oh, okay, so it's saying that I ordered 10 items, and I'm going to see how many have arrived. I haven't actually counted this bag of parcels, so I don't really know how many I've got. It was about £110 that I spent on Wish, and... I think about £60 of that was delivery charges, so that's one thing you've got to remember, that you do pay a lot for delivery, usually sometimes more than the item itself. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what I ordered. So anyway, I feel like it's Christmas again. This is so exciting. I've been so waiting to film this video, right? I cannot explain. Right, this arrived separately uh, because I actually managed to reorder this one because it didn't arrive with the other one but I really wanted to try it out so I reordered it and got it sent to my house so this arrived and I forgot what it was so I did open it and have a quick look so I have sort of seen this but yeah I'm going to show you this now sorry if all this rustling is really annoying but you know here's a first impressions video so We've got to have a little bit of rustling. Right, now, I don't know if you've seen this, but this is always coming up on Wish. Sometimes they come up on Facebook, actually. It's one of those um, dresses, like the glittery red ones, but, oh my God. This, like, it's really, really stretchy to start with. This material, like, this is the arm. Like, this is super stretchy. Um, this was supposed to be a small and thinking that this is going to be too big for me like you can see the waist is quite wide so I'm like peeking through <laughs> the waist is quite wide here uh, but it is like an off the shoulder dress um, the colour is nice like it's sort of red glittery as you can see here we have got threads coming out I think I saw a big one that was the, there look so a bit there coming out which is not great um, but I think this probably only cost a few pounds. I'd say this is more like 10 to 12 size. And at the moment, the material, oh, it is a little bit thin. Yeah, look, you can see, you can see the candles through there. <laughs> I won't put it too close because it's probably highly flammable. So I'm going to try this on, see what it looks like, and hope for the best. Okay, so this is the red dress, and actually, I think it looks better 
on than what it did kind of when I took it out of the packaging. Just I've just put my hair up to just kind of show you the dress as if I was going out or something. Um, and I've paired it with, I don't know if you can see, but I've paired it with some black, oh, I don't know if I'm showing anything there, but I've just paired it with some black um, heels. But it's very, very thin. I don't think it's see-through. I hope it's not because I haven't got the most appropriate knickers on. So I hope you can't see those through. Um, and also we have like a split up the leg here, which like, I'm not going to split it up too high, but that would, that would split high. So if the wind blew or something when you're out, that would definitely come, it sort of stops. Yeah, it stops about here. So that would definitely show like your knickers off. Um, if you're wearing any so definitely wear knickers with this dress it's got like a nice kind of fitted in here but it is definitely too big for me because actually it's a little bit wide around the waist here and this is an extra small so bear that in mind I think if you were size like 10 to 12 it would fit you quite nicely but for me like I'd prefer if it was actually a bit more fitted around the waist and then kind of showed off a bit more like sh of some shape there I'll uh, just show you it from behind, I think it's kind of quite nice as well from the back, um, it's got quite a good shape to it, but again yeah it's slightly wide on the waist here so you can see that from behind. Let me just climb on a stool or something and so I can show you the full length. This is the length of the dress, um, please ignore how pale my legs are, they're terribly pale. But yeah this is kind of just to show you the length of the dress, I don't want to move around too much because I'll probably fall off. But it's, yeah, it's quite a nice length. I'm five foot three, so if you were a bit taller than me, obviously it's gonna be shorter, or if you are maybe five foot, it probably would be a bit too long. It would get to that point where it's not a flattering length. But it does depend on what you like. And this is just to give you an idea of like how glittery it is um, and how it fits around the top of your body. So overall, I'm not hating on this dress. I do think, that it's actually not that bad and it probably is quite wearable so I am going to give it a thumbs up but I'm just going to let you know that it is very thin so when it arrives if you do purchase it it's not great quality it kind of looks better now than what it actually feels like but it's not see-through so that's good oh hang on this has got two so sure, I feel like I reckon all the parcels have been arrived have been arrived? Does that make any sense? Have been delivered, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, it does feel like Christmas. I just love Christmas in January. Ooh, okay. So, this was a shirt, I think. The pattern, I think that's actually not too bad it's kind of a bit like um like you can imagine like a 70s guy going to the disco with his flares on with like this tucked into his like high-waisted jeans i can imagine that but actually it's not too bad and the quality feels really good it's not see-through it's not silky but it's kind of it's probably um well, we've got something here to say what it's made out of. Oh yeah, polyester. So it's 97% polyester, 3% spandex. And I got this in a size small. Uh, the collar feels pretty good as well. Like sometimes I think on things, the collars can feel like really cheap. And then, you know, when you wear it, they look all crunched up and stuff. But no, I think this is looking good. Oh look, you've even got, so on the arm, you've even got the little strap, you know, where you like clip up like your sleeves and so there should be a little button here somewhere so then you've got on the sleeve here um the little button there to clip up your sleeves to so i think this looks really good and i'm really impressed with the quality of it what i'll do is i'll link down below um how much each product was and how much the shipping was and just give you an idea of like what i paid for these items but yeah, we'll try this one on and see what it looks like. Okay, this is a snake print shirt. Um, yeah, I, I do like this. I think it's nice. I think the colour's good. Uh, the feel of it's nice. It doesn't feel too cheap. It's not see-through. 
um, everything's sewn on, all the buttons and stuff are sewn on really well, so the quality's good. The collar is huge, like it definitely feels like a 1970s vibe, like yeah, you could definitely wear flares with this and but I do think it is nice like it's definitely wearable what I would probably do though is always make sure I was wearing my hair like around the front or something just to cover up a bit of that collar um because it does look it's a little bit big and I'm not too keen on that um the arms they roll up and you can sort of clip them here which is really nice um so they sit kind of like three quarters down the arm or you can have them fall down the arm um but I definitely prefer wearing Sleeve, uh, shirt sleeves and things like that a bit higher up but I do think this is really nice I've just tucked it in the front here with my like matte um, kind of leather look sort of jeans um, so I've just tucked it in the front there just letting it hang out and then it is hanging out a little bit at the back um, but if I just show you what it's like full length that's it completely out um, so it does come down at the front quite nicely, you know where it kind of curves down around your hips um, into a good shape there and then it comes up on the sides like that and then on the back it is just like a little bit longer uh, which I do think is quite flattering if you do want to wear this without being tucked in, I think you can. I'm just wearing it with like, I don't know if you can see, but like a pair of boots um, and actually it's quite a nice outfit day or night. So I think I'm going to give this one a thumbs up, I don't think it's bad at all. Obviously it's not going to be to everybody's taste, but that's like with everything. But yeah, I think it's pretty nice. Right, next up, I've got this, which looks like it's possibly going to be a makeup palette. I cannot remember what makeup palette I ordered, so I have no idea. But hopefully it's good. Oh, oh God, now I need to get into this. Um, it does come in this. Um, like cellophane wrapping which is really nice because then you know that it is like new and it hasn't been used before so yeah you have a really clear ingredients list on here everything that's in it you also have the expiry date there and the packaging looks really nice it does feel light compared to like maybe palettes that you might spend a little bit more money on and I think it's one that you just push out yeah so that just comes out there and then this is like the packaging on top and then it is this really nice rose gold packet. Um, ooh. To me, it looks like the uh, nude palette by Huda Beauty. That's what I think that this looks like. And here, I think this is like the concealer shade. Yeah, so that is kind of like a copy. I don't know what the pigment's going to be like. So it'll be interesting to see, we've got some really nice colours in here, these lovely like colours there to go all over the base of the eye. And then you've got like shimmery colours, um, some deeper colours for the crease. I think it's a really good mix and this bottom row is lovely. I do quite like the dark browns um, neutral colours. So, oh we've even got one called Rosy. Oh I love that. Oh they feel really, really buttery actually feels super buttery so just see what that comes out like and that goes on really nice and actually that does that blends down quite nicely and that's quite a sort of pigmented shade that is a matte shade so let's have a little go with a shimmery shade um let's go for dubai again it feels really really buttery um, so this is shade Dubai, which, wow, I mean that, that is good, like there's some pigment there. The thing is though, you can't always tell, you know, when you're trying it out on your hand like this, because sometimes you put it on the eye and it all just blends away, so it will be interesting to see like what, what it's like on the eye. I'm not saying this is the Huda Beauty palette, but with the Huda Beauty, I think you get a lot more like glitters in it and stuff like that. I don't think you'd get the same results with that palette as this palette. It's more like just shimmery and matte. Okay guys, I had to rush off um, like when I was filming all the opening of the Wish stuff. So 
what that meant is I've come back and I'm filming like the try-ons and everything on a different day so I thought while I'm getting ready which I'm doing now like halfway through getting ready I thought I might as well test out the um, eyeshadow palette on my eyes as I'm getting ready and then that will be like a try-on too and you can see kind of how the eyeshadows perform so I'm going to zoom you in I haven't really done like this kind of makeup thing before where I try it on and film it so I hope that I do it okay and that um, you can see what I'm doing but I will try my best. Okay so camera's all zoomed in, let's get started on the eyes. Um, my eyebrows are quite dark but I don't know if they look too dark or not, I don't know, what do you think? But I have did that, you know that face up where it makes you younger? Because I'm 28 so you get into that point where, you know, a little bit older wrinkles start to show and so you get a little bit more concerned about your looks and your aging and everything anyway i did that face up where it makes you younger i think it was like 10 years younger or something and i noticed that the one thing that they did to make me look younger was darker eyebrows because mine were like a bit of a lighter color than this before so i thought you know what i'm gonna do darker eyebrows so that makes me look younger <laughs> anyway went off on a total tangent there but i think i'm gonna go with cocoa all over my eyelid um it's quite a sort of dark brown Where's the colour? Here. Nothing kind of falls out when you dip it in, so that's good. So I'm hoping, because I've already done the rest of my makeup, that I won't have too much fallout. Anyway, I'm going to look in this mirror here because it's pretty hard looking up into the viewfinder to do it. And I just hope you can see. Now, I haven't got mascara. Oh, wow. Wow, I've literally just like pressed that on. I'm just using like a fluffy brush, which is so dirty. Which grim but oh well reality so i've just like pressed that on and already like the pigment is really really good so i'm quite impressed with that already so i'm just going to carry on pressing that all over the lid this is going to be a really basic eye look i mean this is not going to be i'm not really doing anything special today so i'm not gonna go too sort of heavy in right that was one dab in the palette so now I've put majority on there, what I'm going to do is try and like blend out the top bit so we can see how well it actually blends. So far so good. No, that is actually not bad at all and that's blended really really well around the edges there I've just taken it just like up onto my brow bone there the start of my brow bone just blending it out so I just want to like blend out the edges up here with another color so I think I'm going to go in with this color here which is called camel um and I'm going to just rub the brush on the back of my hand a bit to get rid of that dark colour and then I'm just going to dip it in here as you can see no fallout at all which is really good so I'm just going to blend the edges out with that shadow which has done that really really well now I've ended up with a super smoky eye which <laughs> which wasn't really I was thinking oh, I'm going to go for something natural today like not too much I've got a lash lift, so if you think I've got mascara, I haven't. It's like where you have your eyelashes curled and tinted. It's very effective. I'd recommend it if you're, you know, a bit lazy like me and don't always want to do full makeup. Right, so I, all I'm going to do now, because I feel like I've got quite a lot of product left on my brush, I'm just going to uh, blend that with the same brush underneath my eye. Look at the pigment of it. And I kind of want to keep it matte. I really like that matte look. I think it's really nice. And I have got a little bit of like a glossier lip on. Okay, eyeshadow finished. Um, so I did the same on the other eye and just kind of matched them up. Put a little bit of eyeliner on and then I just put like a tiny bit of mascara on just to deepen it up because I thought, God, I've ended up with quite a lot of, uh, not mascara, I've ended up with quite a lot of eyeshadow. I thought really I need to add a little bit of mascara on just to darken up my lashes a bit. But really, really impressed with the eyeshadow palette. Uh, it'd be interesting to see like how long it actually lasts for. I hope that this has given you a good idea of what the uh, eyeshadow palette was like. So, bit of a bigger package here. Oh God, 
starts making you worry, doesn't it, by what you've ordered and what's going to turn up. Because I think the other thing with Wish is you can have that issue with you order something and then like what you've ordered like doesn't turn up and something else random does and they have some weird stuff on Wish. Oh, my, I think, I think this is a teddy bear coat. I absolutely love teddy bear coats anyway because it feels like you're going out in your dressing gown. But if I can buy one on Wish, and I really wanted like a, um, a camel coloured one. Sorry, annoying. Well, it feels nice, so if anything, I can use it as a blanket. Okay, I got it in a size small. Do you know what this feels? really good I mean you can only really tell when you put something on can't you what it's going to look like but the the feel of it is really nice the quality feels good it's lined so you can see the lining in here it's got pockets pockets are also lined so I don't know I think this might look quite nice I love the colour as well like Sometimes as well, like colours could be a little bit off when you're buying stuff online, you never quite know. But the colour of this looks amazing. There are a few little um, threads out, uh, but you know, that's to be expected. We're not paying a load of money for this stuff, so we can't moan about too much. So yeah, we'll uh, try this one on and see what it looks like. Oh my god, this is so good. I love this coat so much. It feels, it's fairly thick, not like super thick like most teddy bear coats, but it feels really, really nice. Like I cannot explain how soft this is. It's lovely. Just give you a bit of a close up um, of the material, but it's really, really nice. Everything sits perfectly. It's all even. The pockets are even. It sits at a lovely length. Um, it kind of just comes you know, in between your thigh and your knee, it sits there, so it's a really flattering length. The back looks like this. It hasn't got any buttons, so you can't fasten it, but as just a nice jacket, you know, if you're going out, you can pop this over an outfit that you're wearing. Um, it's just really, really good. Uh, sleeves are, I do have long arms, um, so the sleeves are tiny, tiny bit short, but I have got abnormally long arms, so. I mean, if you have normal arms, it'll probably be fine. But yeah, this one is really, really nice. So I'm definitely giving this a big thumbs up. Right, let's see what I've got next in the bag. So far, I mean, I've got one, two, three, four items so far. <laughs> I know what this one is. So um, I'm getting married next year. Uh, so 2021 um, so yeah I thought I'd have a look and see what the wedding dresses are like on which so here I have a whole wedding dress but it is in this tiny tiny little bag so you know we won't uh, we won't expect too much I can remember the price of this one uh, I think it was 14 pounds so, oh my god, really yellow nude. Let me show you the underneath um, layer of this and just show you that colour of it, which is, I mean, somebody might like this, it might be somebody's taste, but to me, this is too yellow, too old fashioned um, nudie colour. Like if you've had neck curtains up for 20 years and you've never taken them down bit like that you know anyway we shall try this on and um see what it looks like we have like a bit of mesh at the front here and then the back it has got a zip so i mean that's good it has got a zip but you never know it could look amazing on we'll give it a go okay the wedding dress is on it probably does look a little bit less like a nighty now it's on it's actually not like terrible terrible I mean it doesn't fit the the waistband is is actually sitting too high it's more sitting across like the widest part of my ribs whereas like my smallest part of my waist is here so I'd like really prefer that that was a bit lower down so that it kind of 
cinches you in at the waist a bit and then brings down the hips but the minute it's just kind of making me look like I've got really big hips it it definitely smells bad definitely smells like it's been in granny's wardrobe for sort of 40 years but there we go <laughs> you can always have a wash I guess I'm not sure how it would wash though so I probably wouldn't recommend that um mm -hmm. But the top layer, the lace layer, is actually a really, really nice quality. I'm just going to come in a bit closer to show you. Um, I don't like this section of it so much, but the actual lace on the dress is really, really nice. Like The quality of it is nice, and the pattern is quite pretty as well. Um, and it's like evenly placed, nothing looks kind of uneven. It goes around in the sections quite nicely. It is see-through though, I don't know if you can see through like to my underwear, but you probably can a little bit because it definitely is a bit see-through. I tried to put some nude colour on so it didn't show too much. And the chest area, I mean, there's not much for me in the chest area, like so I'm not really filling the dress out very well. I don't have any bra or anything on, which is okay for me because I don't have much to support. But if you had quite a bit to support, I don't know how you'd get on with this dress because like if you look from the side here there's this is very thin material and there's nothing there to kind of support you um, and also here there's not really a lot going on so I feel like if you had big big breasts I think they may possibly fall out the side <laughs> which you know on your wedding day if you did wear this on your wedding day it's probably not going to be ideal but I'm sure you could get those um, kind of cup things that you put in there and there and it would hold it in place a little bit. But I mean I don't think it's too bad, I think the mesh across here is, is quite good, like the sort of blends in okay. Bearing in mind I'm very pale, I don't have any fake tan or anything on at the moment, so it is a bit of pale mesh. Anyway, let me show you the back. So this is the back, and I actually think the back is quite pretty, I think it looks like it fits quite well. It goes down to a nice place. These straps are quite pretty with the white flowers on them and then the nude coloured um, sort of material underneath. Because under the skirt it is like a full nude. Um, oh, you also have a zip here which goes kind of down to about there. So it's not a very long zip but that gives you an idea. But I don't think it's too bad but that's this half. I'm now going to get on the stool again. <laughs> try not to fall off and show you like the bottom half of it and like what's going on there. Okay so I'm on the stool now so I hope I'm just about tall enough just to show you that the underskirt, I've kept these black shoes which is probably not ideal for a wedding dress, but the underskirt is shorter than the lace so the underskirt sort of finishes around my ankles and again I'm five foot three and then the actual skirt does fall exactly to the ground exactly where I'd kind of want it to fall let me show you my heels so you can get an idea of how high I'm kind of wearing it but yeah the lace does fall kind of exactly where I would want it but unfortunately the nude underskirt really doesn't fall in the right place so it does look slightly weird so yeah, I feel like with this dress, we can't complain too much because it is a wedding dress and all in all it's cost £20 for your postage and for the actual dress. So you can't really expect too much for a £20 dress and I would say that it is actually quite a pretty dress. For me, I wouldn't wear it for my wedding. I'm just not keen on this kind of low section but obviously I bought, I bought it knowing it was going to be low cut um, but with it not being much around here I feel a little bit uncomfortable um, about that so I probably wouldn't wear it for me however I would kind of wear it no it sounds really bad now I was gonna say I would wear it for Halloween <laughs> but you know like if you wanted to do like an old you know someone that's escaped from somewhere and like is all bloody and and is in a night dress and turned into a zombie you know you could make this look pretty cool like that Anyway, um, so with that in mind um, and the fact that it was only £20 and it is a wedding dress and the lace is really nice quality on it, I'm going to kind of go like middle of the road with it. I'm not going to say yes, I'm not going to say no. It is much better on than off. Right, next up I have, this is, I can't remember what this is at all. Oh, full coverage foundation. Oh, a big sticker over the... Uh, the brand 
uh, oh, it's a matte finish, I can see that through. We've got 14mm and it is L-R-E, so Lure makeup. Let's have a look. So this really does look like um, Dior Face and Body. It is smaller, although it says 40mm and I oh know I think Dior Face and Body has 50mm. It says it's full coverage and the colour, oh, comes out, it's quite thick. You can see there, it's not gonna, it's not rolling down. Whereas um, Dior Face and Body does, I mean, when you put that on your back of your hand, it will roll all the way down. Um, but this one is quite a thick consistency. I got it in shade FN07. So I've put that on my hand, it has um, oxidized quite quickly. The coverage does look full though. I mean, as I'm blending that out, and you put a little bit there, as I'm blending it, it is covering but it is giving me that kind of orangey, you know when it goes around the edges, like that kind of orangey shade, it is doing that. And this was, I mean, I am extremely pale at the moment. I'm trying to think what I can compare myself to, but, well, jug of milk. <laughs> so, I'm very pale. But this was probably, I probably picked up either the lightest colour or the, like, can you see there? That's the colour in the bottle and that is the colour it's now turned. So I definitely wouldn't, straight away, I wouldn't really recommend this. Oh, okay. So this is a bag. So just nice to point out that you have the, the uh, delivery bag that it comes in, but then it also has come wrapped um, in cellophane, which is really nice. You know, it shows it's cared about. Uh, it's a nice bag. I mean, you could keep it in this bag if you wanted to, it's like a dust bag. Oh, actually, even better, it actually comes in a dust bag. I mean, that's good, isn't it? It's not like a massive high quality dust bag, but it's good, like, for it to come in that. I mean, we're never expecting too much. Oh, I'm excited because I've forgotten this. So this is the bag, ooh, now that is not so pretty sure this is like a Gucci kind of rip off bag but that's fine, <laughs> um, let's just take all these bits off there so we can get a good look. As you can see it's a lovely kind of small handbag but you know, one that would sit quite nice on your hips. Um, so this is like the logo here, and this is actually where you open the bag, so you just twist in there, and that all feels pretty good. And then across the top here, you've got these really nice pearl beads, which looks so good. And at the moment, I'm looking at it, and the quality, I mean, you have, again, you've got threads kind of um, coming out the side a bit here, but the quality of it, I'm not complaining, it looks good. And then you open it up, so like I said, you just turn the little, um, I don't know what you call these, sort of like a clasp thing, turn that and then the top will pop open, it's black inside here. It smells a bit like fish, so that's great, if you like that smell. Hello? Mm. Right, haven't got a long left, we're taking the dogs to the vets for a little checkup. They're fine, but we just, want to do we like to just take them to the vet service often for a little check a little health check so i haven't got much longer but anyway let's talk about this bag so open it up and inside you've got a strap which is a nice length so i've just taken off all that plastic that was on there and it's like this gold kind of chain the only thing i would say is like the gold color on here it's a bit of a um a yellowy gold so it's not like the most ideal like i think i'd prefer like maybe a silver chain or a little bit less bright yellow gold. But anyway, it's still really good. The weight feels good. Let's have a look inside. And we're stuffed with tissue paper, which again is showing me, you know, they look after the products, the quality of it, they're cared about, you know, not just shoved in a bag and sent off. Um, so I'm gonna take that lot out there. And inside it's red when you see like the inside of it red like that it does just make it look a little bit more luxurious I mean we know this is not gonna be like the most top quality bag but I have to say 
I'm really, really impressed with it. I think, let's just see if we can, I've got the um, iPhone 8 Plus, so let's see if that fits. Oh, oh, <laughs> just break my iPhone while I just, okay, so there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a squeeze, like when it's in there, I can literally hold the bag upside down and the phone doesn't fall out, but it's in there. Oh, right on cue, get a message, put that on silent. So yeah, and then you've also got in there, I don't know if you can just see there, but you've got like the little section where you can leave like your cards, um, anything in there really. I will style that up with an outfit and just show you what it looks like on as well. Okay, so the first item I've got here is the black bag. Now, I love this so much. I think it's really, really nice quality. Um, and I think, you know, from far away, it looks like the real deal. It is a bit light, um, and the chain, I definitely don't like the colour of like the chain and the clasp. But still, I mean, for a few pounds, it's pretty good. Um, I've just paired it with um, like a high neck sort of jumpery t-shirt top thing um, and just some kind of matte uh, leather look trousers obviously if I was going out I'd have a coat or something on I really really like it and I think you probably could wear it cross body as well it sits a really nice angle there so actually can't complain about this bag much at all really like it I think this is definitely a thumbs up god honestly like we I I feel like all this stuff has been delivered, but because it was at my friend's, Wish told me that it wasn't delivered. My friend had all the packages because she'd gone to the man's house to pick them up for me. She goes around the corner. So I feel like I've had most stuff delivered. So I really should take it back for the fact that they haven't delivered stuff. Um, but they were the ones that told me that they haven't been delivered. So in the app. Right, let's have a look at this next thing. Now, straight away, this one is not looking too great. Um, the material is like this. So the material is um, a felt. The inside looks, you know, super cheap, super thin. Um, the collar is kind of sticking out here it's all a bit crumpled up this bit looks really cheap um you do have these buttons which the buttons are actually really nice uh though i can't complain about those like a tortoise shell button it does have pockets but again the pockets look like they've just been stuck on which they have but it's obvious you know there's not like kind of nice stitching going around the side of it yeah, I think this one is not going to be great. There's a few threads, as usual, hanging out there, but all of these threads and stuff can be cut off. It's not too much of a problem. But anyway, we will try this on and we'll see what it looks like. It possibly could look better on. Okay, um, not really much I can say good about this, unfortunately. Uh, it feels very, very cheap. Uh, the material feels so thin and... It's, it's basically like felt um, and I just even it's all creased um, down here if you can just see this bottom of it's quite creased um, if I just try and stand up a bit higher you can see it kind of flares out at the bottom which I think is the style of it but it's all so loose at the bottom and just doesn't look good at all the pockets are kind of like in the wrong place they're not evenly placed um, which again makes it feel quite cheap um, it has got buttons so you can do it up, I don't know if that makes it look any better, I don't think so. And also, you know, it is a coat and it's so thin that it's a little bit pointless, it wouldn't keep you warm. I'll show you the back of it, I don't know if it looks any better from the back, but probably not. Uh, the collar as well is also kind of all like, um, sort of creased and bent around, so that doesn't really look any good. But I just don't think that this coat is any good at all. So I definitely wouldn't recommend this one, unfortunately. So this is a fail. Okay, next up we have this one, which I just stopped filming for a minute and then got way too excited and started undoing the wrapping before I started filming again. 
Right, this is a white, like high neck um, jumper, which it feels really, really soft actually. It does feel good. I can already see though, it's gonna be a bit see-through. I was being brave buying something white, um, but I just really liked the look of it, the white color with the buttons all the way down there. Um, already around the neck here though, I can see like the quality is not that good. We've got lots of threads out and it just feels very thin around the neck. Whereas usually like, you know, with something with a neck, you'd have like the um, seams and everything kind of built up a little bit more so that it felt thicker. Um, whereas this does feel quite thin around there uh, and also around the bottoms of the sleeves as well is quite thin. But I do really like this and the buttons are really nice. Yeah, I really like the buttons. So it will be interesting to see what this looks like on. Um, hopefully not too see-through, but we will see. Okay, so this is the white top with like the button detail on the chest and down like the side of the arms. I really, really like this. Again, short on the arms for me, but I don't know if you can tell, like I have really, really long arms. So everything does come up a little bit short, but what I would do with this is just pull it up like that and wear it kind of like as a three quarter length sleeve. Um, it is a tiny bit see-through. I've got like a grey, um, I suppose kind of like a sports bra crop top thing on underneath this um, and you can see it a little bit through but that is grey so it's probably not ideal. I'd probably wear like a nude or a white um, bra underneath this because then you can sort of see the top of your trousers as well and it's a bit short on the body so like I'd prefer something just to come down probably more like this length I find that a little bit more flattering but this is a little bit shorter but still I don't think it's a complete fail I mean you might be able to see better at the back kind of how the uh, bra shows through it's a little bit see-through the only thing I definitely don't like about it is the neckline. If I just show you that a little bit closer up, it's too big on the neck, so then each side is kind of baggy like this. And I just think with a high neck top, it needs to be like nice and fitted, because otherwise it just looks a little bit weird. Um, and also it is very thin around there and like poor quality. But I definitely would wear this. I wouldn't completely write it off. So it's not a, it's not like a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It's kind of like a thumbs in the middle I'm, I'm a bit unsure about it um but i don't think it's i don't think it's too bad at all i think that you know it's definitely quite wearable okay so we have reached the end of the wish haul i'm now currently in a totally different place i'm not at home not in my usual filming place um because i did film an outro but my camera decided to like fail on me and i've been having a few issues with it so luckily I took it away with me, so I'm able to film now. So I do apologize about like the lighting. You've got like lights from a bathroom behind you that I thought might just sort of light me up a bit, but then it's got a loud fan, so you might be able to hear that. Anyway, really hope that you enjoyed watching the haul as much as I enjoyed filming it. I thought it was really good fun, like ordering all the stuff and then seeing what it was like. And I found that some things were really good. Some things weren't that great, like as you can see. The two things I'd recommend if you do want to buy something from this video would be the eyeshadow palette and also the teddy bear coat. Definitely recommend that teddy bear coat, it's really really nice. I've actually been wearing it, this is like a few days later since I opened it all and I've actually been wearing it every day and it's quite warm and it's really nice. So if you did like this video, then please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. If you have any ideas on some videos I could film, then just leave a comment down below. But I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I really, really hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!